good uh, afternoon. Thanks for having me here. Thanks for the introduction. Uh, my name is uh, Masood Asani. I, uh, originally, I was born in uh, Afghanistan. I lived there since, uh, since my childhood, until I became uh, about 10 or uh, 11 years. So then we left to other uh, countries. And then I ended up in Holland, which is really nice to me. And uh, so I want to talk today about a forgotten problem that actually it's older than some other uh, famous problems in the world right now. But this, this needs also a lot of attention. And there are a lot of uh, governments and uh, organizations that they are doing it, but, it's, uh, but they are doing it in, in a way that has been done 60 years ago as well. So if you were living and with the techno technology of 60 years, then probably there was no iPhone and uh, Twitter uh, and, and so on, you know? So Afghanistan, as uh, I also want to share a few thoughts about Afghanistan itself. It's a country with a really, really rich culture. We have uh, evidence from um, back to the stain age, uh, age. And it's located in the Central Asia. We have borders with the eight really powerful uh, countries like Iran, uh, China, India, and so on. And Afghanistan itself is very rich of uh, minerals. We have about three trillion worth of minerals. That's about 300,000 billion. So we are the, uh, the third richest country in the world. So, but <laughs> where is it? It's in the ground. We have a lot of mountains, so mountains, they grow up, you know. Usually we dig in the ground to have minerals, but it's now all inside of you, of, uh, in, uh, in front of you. So that's why Afghanistan is very important to a lot of countries, a lot of political countries as well. So, and, and landmines, as you see in the picture, it's only a thing that it's now bothering us, you know, because we can't use the, the ground. So, this is, uh, this is a picture that reminds me that uh, I was a kid at school. So, usually you get the uh, math uh, languages and so on. But we got classes about landmines, so I know all of them. I, I know how to open them because it was like every day it was on our playground. So, we were playing with this, uh, this kind of uh, uh, toys. And also, we used to play with flares, you know, that airplanes take, out, take off and they. Uh, fire uh, flares to, <clears throat> if somebody's uh, like uh, firing to the airplane, it will be like distracted. So that was our uh, childhood toys. And this one as well. So a lot of people, they get hurt because they want to play around. And most of them, they are just innocent kids. You know? But they are not the enemy of, uh, of the landmines. And, and there's actually... Yeah, we have to do something about it because it's not, uh, it's not uh, necessary. And the only famous person that we know, it was Princess Diana. She put a lot of uh, time in it. But for now, it's like a really commercial uh, companies. And they want to keep it like that because they are earning money as well. And they are like uh, educating uh, not really trained people, just uh, like locals. And the locals, they want to like... Uh, yeah, earn, earn uh, the money, and they are taking the risk to, to clear the landmines and their gardens. And uh, this is a, a Google Map uh, picture. It's uh, where we have lived, so that's uh, uh, at the north side of Kabul. Uh, you see at the right a few buildings. So this one was our building, so this is our playground. And here, this is, uh, over here, this is the airport. And all this area is all landmine area. So this uh, depot uh, was full of uh, all kinds of things that we like to collect because we want to play uh, with, the, with the real stuff. And uh, so as a kid, you, re you, like, uh, uh, you want to have fun as well. And, and you don't notice that there's danger. Actually, we were re really excited to, to, to see something happening. So, oh, have you seen that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so in this kind of area, there are a lot of uh, uh, mines. So this is the world map. 
in total there are about uh, millions, about 200 millions, but nobody wants to like mention how many landmines there are, because they, would, they don't want to like uh, 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 scare people, you know. And uh, in Afghanistan, the red part, the red part is only about uh, 10, uh, I mean, 10 million, and that's one fourth of the country. And the rest is not really researched, so yeah, nobody knows. And at the red part, that's the border, border between Pakistan and Afghanistan, because we have a lot of mountains and, uh, and so on. I mean, China, they have the, the big walls, so and nobody can enter it, but we have mountains, so everybody can climb over it. So they put mines, and also uh, on some ground that there, that there is like uh, mm, minerals. That's also a way to like uh, save the ground, you know, for yourself. Uh, can you, I don't know if you can see it. This is like worldwide, there are a lot of them, uh, as I mentioned. So if you put all this wasted land together, uh, you will create a, a wasted uh, continent that we are not using, actually. Like in Angola, half of Angola is, uh, is also occupied. And a lot of people are like uh, blaming others. They say, yeah, we are not uh, using the world uh, as, as it should, you know? But yeah, this is also a way to like, uh, make it useful. This is the way that uh, they're doing it right now, with the hands and uh, uh, also animals. So dog and rats, they, they have really good smell. But it's like a, it takes a lot of time to do it. And so I thought, yeah, the time that you have to invest to find a landmine, is, uh, it takes days. So then I went back to my childhood, made a few toys that we have seen in the beginning that they were running. So we used to play with this kind of toys. And I enlarged only one of these ones that we were playing on the ground in Afghanistan. I thought, okay, if you make it bigger, and it, it, it will become stronger as well and heavier. And now, if it runs over a landmine, it's heavy enough to detonate it because it's, it has the same weight of a, of a foot. So that was the, the first idea. And then I had to like, imagine it, put it in a place, it should be like that, and if it runs over, then there will be an explosion. So then I built it. This is uh, the first one. And then I, yeah, I don't sketch a lot, so I just make it. And then this was the, the first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, otherwise it takes a lot of time to sketch, you know, you just make it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the, the first test, and we, we did it, uh, we tried, uh, we tested with the Dutch uh, defense. It took a lot of time to get in touch with them. But, uh, so this was uh, like the press test. Is it uh, strong enough? So that was just uh, enough. And this is about 90 kilograms. It's, uh, it's quite big. And this is uh, a white version. This white version is meant for trip wire. So it's uh, a bit smaller. So if it goes around and it trips a wire, there will be an explosion, not in front of you, but somewhere else. And this explosion can be followed by, by many other explosions. And this ball, actually, we can show it right now here. Bring it on the on stage. We can see how. Oh. This is the sound of. Uh, 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 this is my brother, by the way. Come on here. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Yeah, the sound, I can just push it more forward. So this, the sound is, uh, this is like an air, air uh, suspension, so, so it weighs nothing, and this is like a, it motions the foot mechanism, and they, if there's a uh, hubble, it's, it fits itself as well. So this is, uh, this is powered by the wind, it goes really fast if it's needed. So. Can you see the screen now? <laughs> oh, stay there. So we have tested that uh, this is a very first test session. It's uh, about 100 grams, so we are testing. So it was actually too much. So we destroyed the whole thing. But after that, <laughs> <laughs> so this was enough for a car. 
And uh, so now we have done a lot of other tests. We, I will show you later. And it's now more, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's improved. And every ball it, and the, in the center, it has a GPS system. And as we have heard today, we are getting into the digital world. So this is mapping a digital world around it. But you don't see it. You see it only on an iPhone or an iPad or, or, the, or, or the, on the website. So it's running around on a, on a desert. So then it, it lets a really digital path behind. Then you can follow the, the path with a GPS uh, receiver or an iPhone. Uh, every smartphone can do it. And then you can select the area. It shows everything around it and how many explosions and uh, all the data is saved. And uh, so that's uh, the software. The cost of uh, nowadays, it costs about, if you want to clear the whole world, it's about 300,000 million. Three, yeah. uh, this is uh, like to compare it with existing technology, it would be about 100 time, 120 times cheaper because with one ball you can detonate about uh, three mines. It, it depends how strong they are. And it's also more to indicate an, a location that where is uh, the most dangerous area on a, on a, a field. Because a, a lot of people they are uh, putting their time to research a wrong area. So they're investing like months and there's nothing, you know. And so that's only a cal cost calculation. Like in Angola, there are about 20 million landmines. There are 11, 12 million people. If you want to clear all the mines, it's really expensive. But if you want to do this technology, you will save like 23 billion. And you can invest the same money again in the, in the ground to like develop the country. Uh, a lot of uh, this is uh, at this version we build it all over again, so the white parts were the exploded uh, parts, so the center will stay st stays intact. That's why it's also cheaper. And this is in Milan we were exhibiting uh, this year. Uh, this design museum has product of the year of uh, nomination, and this one was uh, also in, uh, in Helsinki. So. The thing is, around, around uh, this project, there's a uh, uh, really nice uh, uh, media around it. Even uh, as we heard, it will be in MoMA in, uh, in uh, uh, March. But the really nice, or I mean, the really important thing is how to make it work. Because it's, it's, uh, it could be any, any kind of art uh, project, but, but for now, how we can raise funds to do this project, to fund it, and to make it real. Even a sword gallery in Paris, they want to like, put like an art project to fund, to fund uh, this, this process. Because uh, yeah, for me, right now, it's like the engineering uh, It's really important. And for that, we need a, um, a hand to help us. And, and I can show you now a, a movie. Uh, this is only a teaser. The full movie will be released 14th this month. Thank you. Thank you.